Hola. Good morning. Good to see y'all. How's everybody feeling this morning? Everybody grateful? You know, I had a really good meditation this morning. I'm so grateful for y'all. So I was giving thanks for um, you guys this morning. What are you grateful for this morning? Put it in the comments. I'm going to talk about bad habits and what they're really a result of. It's a, it's a result of your subconscious mind, not of your not of your character and also what you know we need to get out of ourselves you know we're doing visualizations to improve our life but we have the most power when we're focusing on what we can do for others you know when we're in service to others when we're in service to the planet especially the universe really gets into alignment for you okay so um just remember that when you're doing your meditation it's not all about you it's all about us and with that, I am going to move on to today's topic. So today we're going to talk about the subconscious mind and really your bad habits. of your subconscious mind and the programming they are not you know your bad habits are not a, a result of your poor choices or your character defects as though you know many of us might or many people might want to tell you that or sometimes we get to feeling sorry for ourselves and we want to believe that um, and that brings us feelings of not worthiness <clears throat> But this is going to just kind of pick up on the tail end of what I was talking about yesterday. In that originally, now originally your bad habits might have been a result of a poor choice that you made. But I want you to remember that at that time that you made the choice, you were getting some sort of a payoff, right? Um, it, was, it was making you feel good in some way. It was helping you in some way, okay? So... You know, the first time you have a piece of chocolate cake, it, it's, it's not a bad thing, right? It's not a bad thing. You see the cake, it looks good. You're, maybe it's a birthday celebration or something like that. And you have the piece of cake. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, right? And the payoff of that is that the cake is good. It tastes delicious. And that's fine. That's like so fine. That's all fine and dandy, okay? Um, but maybe you were, let's say, just going through a bad time at that time, right? And now the next day you're like not, you're just not feeling good. And you, your brain remembers that the day before when you had the piece of chocolate cake, that for a half hour or whatever, like during the time you ate the cake, mmm, it was a distraction, right? Like the cake was so good. And then you had the little sugar rush. So maybe a half hour or an hour after that, you felt good. You had the little, you know, dopamine rush, a little sugar rush, and you felt good, right? So you go to the store and you buy the cake again. Well, now nobody else helped you eat the cake because you're not at the birthday party anymore. So now you have the piece of cake, but now there's six more pieces left, okay? So now you're like, well, now I gotta finish the cake all by myself. So now day three comes, and you go ahead and you have two more pieces of the cake, okay? Day four comes, and there's two more pieces of the cake. And now day five comes. And, you know, there's two more, there's only two more pieces left. You might as well just go ahead and finish it, right? Well, now you've had the chocolate cake five days in a row. And five days in a row, your brain's gotten a little payoff, right? Gotten a little payoff. So now you've created a habit. But now you're over. You know, maybe the the bad thing isn't happening in your life anymore. You know, maybe you already, now maybe you just now found the new job or whatever on day six, okay? 
and now you don't want the cake anymore. You know you shouldn't have it anymore because you've been bad for the last week and oh, you've gained five pounds now. Now you don't want it, okay? But then you get to the store and the donuts are on sale now, right? <laughs> and you're totally thinking about something else. Or you're on your way out the store and you know they got this, they got something sweet there right on the display. You know how they have the little display things just as you're checking out so you can grab those last few items, right? So now you grab the candy bar or whatever, not even thinking about it mindlessly, okay? And now you are on day six eating the chocolate or eating the sweet. And you're halfway through the chocolate bar before you realize, wow, I'm eating a sweet. Now you're doing it mindlessly. Now you're getting frustrated, right? Because now it's not you in the driver's seat anymore. Now it's your subconscious programming. It's a bad habit that's in the driver's seat. So what are you going to do about it? Well, telling yourself not to eat it, not to eat the junk food, it's not going to work, right? Going on a diet never really works, right? Because you're still visualizing or you're still focusing on the thing that you shouldn't have. And your subconscious mind still hasn't gotten the memo. That you're not, that you don't want that anymore. Okay? So, the best exercise to go about reprogramming your subconscious mind, and this is the great thing about the fact that your subconscious mind can't tell the difference between what's really happening and what's what you're visualizing. This is why. So that you can program it. Because it's it's not you it's it's the machine it's the tape recorder that runs behind you that that pulls in all the information right so to sit and visualize yourself eating the salad and enjoying it visualize yourself instead of sitting in front of the TV eating the ice cream you're visualizing yourself going to the gym okay now, I use this weight loss kind of diet thing because it's a very easy thing to insert as an example, but this works for any and all areas of your life. This is how I overcome my addiction to drugs, right? This is how I overcome my addiction to cigarettes. This is how I manifested my two-bedroom, two-bath condo. This is how I manifested my car. This is how I manifested my job. This is how I continue to manifest every day on a daily basis the blessings of my life. Is that I sit for 10 minutes a day knowing that I'm worthy and that I deserve it and I focus on what I want for my life as if I already have it. And then I let go and I trust that I I give thanks and I trust that I already have it. I'm grateful for what I do already have. And then I'm grateful for what I don't already have as if I do already have it. And I let go and I move on with my day. That's the key. That is the key, guys. For those of you who have ears to hear, let you hear that message. It will change your life. I appreciate you guys who checked in today. For those of you who this message meant anything to you and maybe you had a light bulb moment, please consider sharing it. And uh, with that, I love you guys so much and please have an awesome day. I love y'all. Namaste.